and welcome again. So you got yourself a Flipper Zero and you want to try and use it and you have the normal firmware on it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know to get started with the Flipper Zero, where to find all the scripts so you don't have to pay for anything. So everything you can find for the Flipper Zero can be found for free, even the tester trick you're going to get in this video too. So let's get started right away. This content is for educational purposes only. Please read the four points below before you proceed. If you want to use this knowledge, please be aware only to use it on your own possessions. Do not hack anyone that is illegal and you can go to jail. So let's get serious right now. So the very first thing you need to do when you get a Flipper Zero is to go ahead and download QFlipper. QFlipper enables you to, well, you can see it on my screen here, right? Enable you to mirror the exact actions you do on your Flipper Zero. You can see that I have to connect it to a cable. That is no way around it. You have to do a connection for a cable. I bought a long red cable. You can buy a long black cable. Doesn't really matter. But the thing is, this actual portal here, the QFlipper portal, lets you mirror everything you do on the flipper. You can even control your flipper with your mouse. Anyways, what you can also do is that you can install the firmware directly on it, and you can keep it updated all the time. Now, I understand that you just got your flipper zero probably, and you don't want to mess around with it right now because it works. You probably learned from IT that, well, sometimes it doesn't work. And then you don't know, but then you don't want to mess with it. But sometimes it does work. And then also you would not like to mess with it. But at the end of the day, there are so many great different kind of firmwares. I'm going to show you the one in this video called Extreme Firmware. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to install that firmware on your Flipper Zero. And I want to say this thing already now. When you played around with your Flipper Zero's standard firmware and you will do the uh, normal, you know, not normal, but the extremist firmware, then you will find yourself in a lot more joy. I'm also going to show you where you can find different kinds of scripts for Flipper Zero, upgraded, you know, even how to find the Tesla script. Some people sell it for $30, $20. Now, I'm going to give you everything for free, you know. And it's even in public places. So that's also a part of the firmware. It's going to enable you to directly copy paste things onto the Flipper Zero. Not the extreme firmware explicitly, but every kind of firmware can do it. Now, first of all, let's just go to Google and get this Q Flipper, which you can see all running. So go to Google and type Q Flipper. That is the very first hit you get right there, you can update via QFlipper, you can download it for Windows, Mac or Linux. Basically just install it, it's a pretty small fast application. Then you're gonna open it and when you open it, it's gonna look something like this. Connect your flipper, right? And then you take your cable just like that and say da 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 da, ba boom, and you connect it. The sound that I made kinda helps you when you're gonna do it, so Please remember to do like the da da da, right? So now that you have it there, you can go ahead and explore your flipper. I would recommend you to go ahead and just pan or hover your mouse over your flipper icon here and just let it grow. And then go back to the actual start screen. I'm using my mouth. It can look something like that. Why are you always away? Blah blah blah. So the flipper zero is kind of like the Tamagotchi or if you know the device called the Ponagachi, well then, I'm gonna show you the Ponagachi. It is right here, right? That is the Ponagachi, which is kinda almost the same thing. Well, the Ponagachi is just for Wi-Fi and for stealing packages in the air to store the actual, well, password in a encrypted state. Well, the Flipper Zero can do many things. I can also perform the same actions as the Ponagachi. But don't, let's not talk about the Ponagachi. Let's continue with Flipper Zero. Now that we have the Q Flipper installed, well, basically you need to look around. You know, that's what I really would say. So 
if this is what you see, you can press the button here and that will take you to the apps part. Now, I want to say I have the extreme firmware on my Flipper 2 right now. And I really do not want to mess around with it because I have many things on it and scripts and so on. So I'm going to keep it as it is. But what you can go ahead and do is to scroll to the right and scroll to the left. You cannot go up and down. Well, choosing the apps you can. And what you're probably going to do is say the very first thing you're going to go ahead and do is to play around with infrared. I would suggest you to do that because it's easy to record and infrared doesn't do doesn't have any hocus pocus. Go ahead and click the infrared and there are many different kind of universal uh, remote you can pick and then you could say like I want to pick for TVs and then you can go ahead and try this kind of remote which is right here where you can power on and off and so on. But if that is not what you want, you can also scroll down a list to see different kind of other remotes. The list is not extensive, it's just a particular list. You can also go ahead and mod that at a later stage, but for now let's keep it simple. What you can also do is go in and say, but hey, 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 I want to learn a new remote. Then click that, learn new remote. What you're then going to do is basically what the image says, like take some sort of remote. I'm going to just for simplicity's sake, take my remote here for the loudspeakers that I have. So I'm going to press the on and off button. I'm going to click it. And as you can see, it recorded it the exact same time that I clicked it. And now you can go ahead and do to the right, you can save it, for example, or you can send it. Now, that basically means you need to point your flipper towards whatever you want to turn on and off. In this particular case, with my, you know, loudspeakers for my computer. You also go ahead and save it. And then type whatever thing you need to type. Um, and it's kind of, it takes a while in order to, to type it, but you know how it is. It's a, it's a analog display. Okay, so this is the very first thing. You don't need to save it. You can just press send and then just play around with different kind of things, remote, that is infrared. That would be the very first thing that I would suggest you to do. And then at some point, uh, exit, yes, just exit, press left. At some point in time, go ahead and, and do something with the RFID or the NFC stuff and get started with that. Now, you already started now, you're starting to use your Flipper Zero, and I would highly suggest you go ahead and start that way. Now, the thing is that you probably, at some point in time, think, I want to revisit this video, and I want to I wanna install the firmware we talked about. Now, there are some firmware called Extreme. I'm going to show you that. All the links in the description below, by the way. And you could see that there's a comparison on different kind of firmware here. Rogue Master, Unleashed, and Extreme. Now, I'm only going to talk about Extreme because it, it basically is the better one. So, if you want to use one of the other firmwares, well, go ahead and just search it up. But I really think you can go ahead and stick with Extreme for now because it is the best one. It's also going to give you Blaze Spam, which is Bluetooth spamming. Uh, it's also going to do bad USB and bad keyboard and different kind of things. And it will also... Well, I'm going to show you as an example how to get the Tesla charge port opener. So if this is the actual firmware you want to go ahead and try and install, I basically recommend you to go ahead and browse the, I think you can go ahead and click install at some point, but you can also just click the, yeah, that's a connect directly, but go ahead and click the links I have below in the description. And the actual installer here basically tells you to, I'm going to zoom in a bit for you here. You can go ahead and download the zipped archive or a Q flipper package. One of the ones that's going to work. And then when you go back here on the Q flipper, all the way back, you can install from file. Installing from file as a TG set package, which is the middle one here, it's going to basically allow you to install the, the firmware extreme directly on your flipper zero. And 
just follow click 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 now i'm not really gonna do that because i want to keep my firmware as it is right now but at some point in time i might update it but right now i'm happy enough with my firmware version 0051 so that is how you would update it okay so let's check out what i have on my flipper zero you can go ahead and click the small icon there and then double click on the SD card. And then you're gonna find the different kind of folders here. These folders also, in most occasions, gonna exist on a normal firmware. This is extreme. And what you're gonna get here is just a lot of different kind of apps for folders, folders for apps. So go ahead and check out, we have something like infrared. We talked about that. Just double click it for now or just look here, okay? So in the infrared one, you can see different kind of infrared uh, recordings at some point in time for Samsung or Roku. Also got some sort of remotes here, example remote and different kind of things. So you could also go ahead and check out, well, I want to, I want to, I really, I really want to, you know, put my own files there on, on the Flipper Zero. And you can also just right click and say upload. And basically upload is going to enable you to choose a file and upload it directly onto the Flipper Zero location that you are on. So right click and just do that or create a new folder. This new folder you create, it says infrared, right? So let's go back to the Flipper Zero just for, for, for fun and giggles. Um, and then click, not there, but there. Back there and go to the infrared. And then you can see that there are these different kind of folders, universal remotes, learn new, and so on. And if you go back here again to infrared, you can see that there are some folders, remote, and so on. So the folders itself sometimes are more customizable, less customizable compared to each other. All right, so the very last thing I would like to show you guys is actually a website by a guy called Uber Gudos, Guidos, whatever I know. And that guy highly suggests you go ahead and check out his page here on the Flipper part, where you can go ahead and download different kind of scripts. Now this is where, in the end of the video, where I'm gonna show you how to find the Tesla port thing. So go ahead and check out the sub gigahertz folder. And then at some point in time here, when you're scrolled enough, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of type Tesla because I'm that type of lazy guy. Then you can see it's under like vehicle Tesla. So let's see, vehicle, vehicle, there we go. And then say like Tesla and the other ones here. So go ahead and check it out. And then you can get like the different kind of files for the charging port, the two ones here below. Just download it, and as we talked about just before, then you're gonna go into the sub gigahertz folder, which is right there, for example. And if you want to do that, you know, go on to vehicles, Tesla, I already have it in mind, but just a right click, upload, choose the file you download, and you're golden, you're done. So basically, this is how you get started using the Flipper Zero, how I would recommend you to go ahead and start using Flipper Zero, and you can probably find many other videos about the same thing, but I suggest you take one step at a time and check out what is also on this guy's Instagram page, sorry, Instagram GitHub page. So just going back to the actual flipper part, you can go ahead and check out also, oh, I want to do some, something with a bad USB. Well, go ahead and check that out, you know, because you can, you can find many different kind of funny scripts, Pwn Drive, Screenshot, Zero Lasagna, whatever that is, Chrome OS, Many different kind of things, cookie stealer, uh, good USB, I don't know, <laughs> honk, you know, different kit, different kind of, different kind of script. You're gonna also rig roll people max volume. Probably gonna be the first one I would try. So basically, this is you know just a lot of scripts and collections of things. They're all free for you to use, you know, and and definitely go ahead and check it out. Just to to show the very last one, just something very interesting, I would guess is uh, to look at the, uh, let's see, the RFID and check that out. And there are some brute force stuff here going on and you can go ahead and check it out. What is this all about? So definitely go ahead and check out the different kind of uh, repositories that you can find. 
and upgrade your own flipper zero knowledge so basically just wrap it up and say you got your flipper zero you want to upgrade to custom firmware go ahead and use extreme that is the way that i would go ahead and do it the extreme firmware is ah, some people will say the best, others would say it's a good alternative, you know, go with your gut feeling or just use the custom normal firmware for Flipper Zero. Go ahead and check out the Guido's, you know, and he's going to give a lot of free stuff away for your Flipper Zero. And uh, of course, go ahead and check out the custom GPIO modification board you can go ahead and buy, also called development boards for Wi-Fi and stuff. There are different kind of things on AliExpress, for example, or Amazon. It ranges from twenty to fifty dollars a pop. You can also go ahead and check out a guy called Just Call Me Coco, which also sells uh, GPS development boards customized he creates himself. So I'm gonna wrap it up and say like this is the starter guide for Flipper Zero. I hope you liked it and see you online.